Hey, what's going on? It's Bill Burr, and it's time for the Monday Morning Podcast for Monday, for Monday, uh, November 22nd, 2021. What's going on? How are you? Um, wait, November 22nd, isn't that the JFK day? Isn't that uh, the infamous day? How many years ago was it? 1963. It was almost six, 58 years ago. 58 years ago. Who do you think did it? You know what? I figured it out. I figured it out. You know why? Because I have the Internet. And when you have the Internet, okay, and limited intelligence, you can figure out all of the world's mysteries just by Googling. Just Googling things like, who really shot JFK? <laughs> See, and that's the problem with the, the authorities. You know what? They're too smart to just ask the simple questions. Like, let's find out right here. Well, you, well, you know what? In honor of the 58th anniversary of the assassination of uh, JFK, we're gonna, I'm going to finally debunk, you know, the Oswald thing. Who really killed jfk okay here we go um free stock footage all right i got stock footage 347 result uh they got jfk conspiracies i don't want all of this shit i just want an answer i want why people think this photo of jfk's killer is fake jfk kennedy's assassination conspiracy theories all right that's wikipedia okay here we go who really killed JFK? All right. That's a book. Oh, you motherfucker. You turned it into a money. I, I can't just. I have to read. I don't want to read. I just want to annoy people at the bar. Go out there and say, ah, you know what? It was the fucking guy who eventually created Target. Yeah, he wanted to open a, uh, a location and he didn't want to do it. Oh, my God. You know what? Fuck all of this. I got. I, all right. Hats off to JFK conspiracy theorists. If you can fucking weave your way through all of that. You want to hear my theory? I think I think that that fucking uh, Lee Harvey Oswald was a part of it. That's all I know, because when he walked oh, so I'm the patsy. That's for, for me. That's it right there. Oh, so I'm the patsy. Just the way he delivered the line. It was kind of like O.J. when they arrested O.J. He didn't look like a guy who just found out his ex-wife got murdered and he was being charged. That was not the look. He had like, God damn it. <laughs> oh, I had a rough one last night. You know? Oh, that, that, that fucking jerk off there. The kid from Illinois that decided to drive up into the fucking riot. That, that, that fucking crying he was allegedly doing. Was the, that is the worst fake crying I have seen since Miss New York. The shot that killed JFK. Oh, Jesus. I, I, I drew him out of the woodwork. Hi, Bill. Love your shows and all your podcasts. Always agree with you. And yeah, I'm a 67-year-old woman, and I love the way you come up with your amazing advice for people, mainly the males who write in. So quickly. Anyway, if you want to know who killed JFK, look up Mortal Error on Wikipedia. About the book Mortal Error, the shot that killed JFK by Bonner M Menninger, outlining the, the theory by sharpshooter, gunsmith, and ballistics expert Howard Donahue that is that a secret service agent in the limbo behind JFK accidentally fired the shot that killed Kennedy after he'd been shot in the neck by Oswald. I haven't read the book, but the time. The doc, oh, the doc was totally convincing. Love to you and your family. Wait a minute. You're telling me some Secret Service guy pulled his gun out and shit himself and accidentally shot him in the... What? Now, that's a brand new one. Hang on a second. JFK. Fatal shot. Secret Service agent here we go this will get me on a fucking watch list mortal error conducting his own investigation donnie decided that the bullet that struck kennedy in the head and in fact been fired by united states secret service agent george warren hickey jr now you're gonna put his fucking name out there like you can't even prove it 
Okay, Mortal Error is a 1992 nonfiction book by Bonner Menninger, outlining a theory by Sharpshooter. Oh, this person just sort of copied and pasted this. Menninger is also the author of And Hell Followed With It, Life and Death in a Kansas Tornado, which won Kansas's note Notable Book Award in 2011. All right, that's interesting. Kansas's Notable Book Award. All right, I'm going to not do the easy joke there. Donahue first became interested in the story of the assassination of John F. Kennedy after participating in a recreation of the shooting as one of 11 invited marksmen and sharpshooters. He demonstrated that it would have been, been possible for Lee Harvey Oswald to have fired three shots in the time specified by the Warren Commission and was the only one of the 11 to better the 5.6 window. However, the experience highlighted to Donahue other concerns regarding the Warren report, and in particular the fact that the testimony of the ballistics experts seems to have been completely omitted from the commission's I've already just zoned out. I don't know what I'm reading now. He believes Oswald's second shot through Kennedy's neck may have been already critically wounded the president by the time the third shot was fired. Donahue was encouraged in his investigations by Ralph Reppert, a uh, reporter of the Baltimore Sun. In 77, Reppert published Donahue's theory in two articles, which appeared May 1st. Donahue reconstructed the trajectories of the shot that struck Kennedy and Governor Conley supported the single bullet theory for a second shot. Donahue decided that the impossible trajectory suggested the Warren Commission was only necessary because there was an error. Oh, my God. All right. This is why you're never going to solve it. I, I, I can't fucking read all of that. All right. So he's saying that somebody so he took the gun out. Because I've heard, you know, cops back in the day when they had their six shooter rookies, the first time they had to pull the gun out in a gunfight. By the time they brought it up level, they were empty. They were so freaking out, like, fuck, 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 fuck. They, like, they were pulling it out, shooting at the ground and bringing it up. Click, 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 click. Um, well, that's interesting. That's an interesting theory. I have no idea. Sounds pretty good to me, man. Thanks for solving it. You heard it here. <laughs> uh, 44 years after the book came out. Mortal Error. Um, hi, Bill. On your November 29th podcast, you read an email from a listener who talked about the Kennedy assassination book, Mortal Error, and the theory of ballistics expert Howard Donahue. Oh, then this is the book you want to read here. Mortal Error. Donahue's thesis is that Lee Harvey Oswald did shoot President Kennedy, but the fatal shot was accidentally fired by a Secret Service agent in the security car behind the president, the presidential limo, as the agent attempted to turn and return fire on Oswald. I realize this is heavy material for your otherwise irreverent podcast. Oh, Jesus Christ, buddy, relax. Conspiracy theory about JFK is not fucking heavy reading. Good Lord, this fucking taming your shrew there. I don't even know what that is. I just know it's a Rodney joke. I like to tame her shrew. Uh, from time to time, it seems you discuss such matters. Uh, oh, he was actually giving me the benefit of the doubt, and I just shit on him. I'm sorry, person. Person of writing in, whatever you are. I've listened to you on and off for years and think you're great. And my son, oh, my God, now I really feel bad. My son is an avid follower who never misses a puck. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Christ. I wish Sherry's Berries was still around. Um in fact, it was he who told me about this email. This caught my interest because Howard Donahue, the man who developed the friendly fire theory, was my father? Get the fuck out of this Star Wars shit. I'm supposed to believe this? Although the subject of the assassination has been beat to death for 50 years, Howard's theory is unique in that it is grounded in science and ballistic, while all the other studies uh, of the subject are not. Mortal error may therefore be of some interest to your listeners. There was also a documentary on Reels, R-E-E-L-Z, TV entitled JFK, The Smoking Gun, which was produced in 2013 and is based on my father's work. 
It may still be running as the anniversary of JFK's assassination was November 22nd. Uh, for the short version, an article on medium.com by Boner, Bonner, B-O-N-A-R, Menninger, M-E-N-N-I-N-G-E-R, called Hidden in Plain Sight, discusses the theory and the book and what's happened since. It was first published in 1992. Just thought you might want to know. Uh, thanks for doing your podcast, and I wish you and your family a great Christmas. That is really fucking interesting. So it was from the car behind. That is fucking wild. Okay. I, okay, uh, so I'm on I'm on the uh, hidden in plain sight. Did a Secret Service agent accidentally shoot JFK? This article was written October 8, 2017 by Bonner Menninger. Well, I'll be reading that. And if you actually are the son of the guy that wrote that, that's pretty amazing that you guys listen to this podcast. 